What is up everyone and welcome back with another video. Probably at this point you know every iOS 14 feature like the widget, the call bar, small Siri and picture in picture. And I'm going to show you how to get all of the iOS 14 feature on your iOS 13. But for this you need to be jawbroken. Starting with the widget. Now VLOX tweak will allow you to have widget on your home screen. So if you long press you're going to find an option that says VLOX and it will allow you to choose which widget size that you want so i'm going to tap on the full widget size and it's going to show you here the latest post and all of that stuff so this will work on specific apps like the music app spotify and twitter facebook maybe i don't know you have to try it uh, yourself to see if it's working on each app also the dark mode is supported so it's going to change the weather and it looks really cool in my opinion Jumping now to the next tweak which is called Scorpion. So Scorpion will give you that call bar on your iOS 13 as you can see here. No annoying uh, calls no more. You can easily just dismiss the call or it's going to appear at the top like the iOS 14. Now to the next iOS 14 feature that you can get with a jailbreak tweak known as Eris. So you know iOS 14 has the uh, small Siri at the bottom. Now you can get similar uh, kind of feature using your uh, iOS 13 uh, jailbreak tweak called Eris. So no more disruptive Siri. You can easily now navigate through your thing and uh, you will have Siri at the bottom if you want to ask her any question. Now jumping to the next tweak which is called uh, Titan. So Titan will give you that functionality that you know about iOS 13 which is the picture in picture. Uh, so if you are playing any video in YouTube, Netflix, Hulu or wherever, you're gonna notice that the video is persistent on the home screen and now you can do whatever and have the video that you have been watching uh, floating around. You can pinch to zoom. You can hide it and it's going to play in the background, especially if it's a long video or a podcast. And you can simply just uh, remove it by hitting on the X icon. Really cool feature that is coming to the iOS 14. Now to the next tweak which is called Evil Scheme. So Evil Scheme will give you that ability to set any app as a default so you can set the browser app to be chrome or you can set the mail app to be gmail or you get it this is also a feature that added to the ios 14. now since we are in the settings app we're going to discuss the next tweak which is called text emoji it will give you the ability to type whatever emoji that you want the vomiting emoji the poop emoji or whatever and it's going to appear to choose it from Similar feature or similar search feature uh, added to the iOS 14. Now to the next tweak, which is the back tab, which you already know it. Uh, it's not available as a tweak yet, but they are working on it. Uh, I found a similar or workaround to get similar feature using the activator. So activator is also available as a tweak in Syria. Now, if you go ahead and tap on everywhere in the activator, you're going to find a section where it says uh, shake or the motion. And now if you tap on that section, you will have the ability to set whatever command that you want. So I set it to uh, shake to screenshot. So if I shake my device, it's going to take a screenshot. Let me just do that. As you guys can see, it took a screenshot and also you can customize whatever uh, thing that you want to do. So let's now set it to uh, open control center or activate control center when we shake our device. So activate control center, going to the home screen and shaking my device. As you can see, uh, doing that will um, provoke the control center. So I know it's kind of gimmicky, but people want it. So uh, I throw that in the video. Also similar feature to the back tab, like exactly similar is coming with a jailbreak tweak. So turn your notification on. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in another one.